ho, I love it. Okay, Your guys. boyfriend is a dork. Make loving. You good? Mm -hmm. sure. All right, guys. Welcome to another episode of oh, Joe Estoy Abajo. Estoy abajo. Ooh, yeah, I thought I think about it in Spanish too, <laughs> but I couldn't say it fast enough. I couldn't say it fast enough. Bienvenidos a nuestro programa. En este día estamos con el único, incomparable Jorge Gutiérrez. Eh, and me, Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris. Cristian. Dígame, Jorge. Okay. What do you want to talk about today? Yo no sé, Chris. Yo estoy aquí, tú sabes. Estamos bien. Estamos bien. All right, bro. All right, guys. So, all right. We literally just finished wrapping up an episode right now with Chris. Part two about Chris. And now, I'm just thinking, what else is there to talk about? What is there to talk about? Yo, you got, you got a topic in mind? You got a topic in mind? So you just sit there, lay down on the bed, and do nothing? I don't have a topic. In mind. But something bad. Give us some shit to like, you know what? I, I haven't turned up in a minute. Yeah, you haven't batched nothing. Yeah. Like, what are you going to batch today? I don't know. Give us a oh, I got it. Tell me about why did Instagram affect all these girls that you saw them in their Halloween oh, outfits? shit. I like that you said that. I like that you said that. Hey, bro. Look. <laughs> all right, bro. I'm not allowed to y'all. Look, bro. There's a few girls I follow, right? A few girls I follow that I've known for quite some time. Now, some of these girls, I really fucks with. Like, as far as how you look, that's what I mean. I don't, I don't know. You know, I don't hang out with you. So I know your personality. But I was telling Chris, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. After watching um, all the like posts, posts from last night, I'm like, yeah, I'm turned off to a lot, a lot of these girls. Cause, yo, I really like. Honestly, look, man. Instagram puts these girls on the pedestal, like we were saying earlier. That, like, in reality, if you don't, like, pay attention, then it's like, hold hold up. Like, so, alright, let me put it like this, man. A lot of y'all girls that I see on IG, I be thinking that y'all really up there. Like, y'all like these high, classy girls, you know, like, yeah, y'all only like the rich guys, because y'all, like, on another level. Y'all, like, nurses and stuff. And now I'm looking at y'all like... Man, you, you live in the hood. Like, I live in the hood. <laughs> and what the fuck? You driving a hood-ass car, and I drive a hood-ass car. Like, what the fuck going on? Like, so, I'm not saying it's your fault. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's their fault. It's like, oh, they put the... Nah, I, I mean, you know, you put up what you put up, maybe with some kind of intention, maybe without any kind of intention. But just to me, to my everyday eye, I'm just over here thinking, God damn, well, shit. Shit, money violent. Yeah, like, I can't, I can't even try to put down. Now I'm like, shit, I'm about to slam your DMs tonight, <laughs> nigga. What the fuck? Like, I might as well just take my shot right now. Because, I mean, shit, if you living like that, then I'm living like that. We fucking the same but, shit. But, like. but give me that example you told me when a girl takes a picture, what do you look at? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, okay, right, right. So now I have this thing, right, where like when girls are starting to take selfies, and like I think you're one of those like super. I look at the floors, <laughs> I look at the tiles around your bathroom or something like that, and I be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a hood bathroom. I know a hood bathroom when I see one, bro. You never know how bad nigga. I know them houses built. So now I'm over here, like you know, I'm starting to like try to look at backgrounds and little things. It's like. Nah. I guarantee you, you're the type of person that when it, you know how those girls take pictures like of the mirror, like themselves in the mirror? Yeah. I guarantee you, if you look at the mirror, like, oh, it has smudges. Yeah. It has smudges. Yes, I do. And, uh, you know, okay, now let me ask you something. Is that a male insecurity? What? For me to have smudges? Like, no, no, no. For me to be like, oh, you live in the hood, so yeah. now I can take my yeah. shot. Fuck, I'm insecure, guys. All right, <laughs> let's break this down. Let's break it's this simple. Down. All right, you don't take. You, you wouldn't take your shot before because mm -hmm. she thought she was going after a certain dude because you thought she was a certain type of girl. Right. Now you already put her in a different class. She lives in the hood, so I'm at her level, maybe even better than her, so she'll come with me. Because you always told me, listen, you always told me this. Uh -huh. All right. You don't want to pick up a girl in your car 
Right? right, right, right. But if you think she's in the hood, you don't care what car you pick her up in. You say, ah, whatever. Well, I know all of it's true. I don't even want to pick y'all up in my car. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but, like but that. my point is, my point oh, is, like, wow. you kind of just dropped them down to a different level. Well, yeah, that that's true. I mean, but and at the same time, look, do you ever really want to go for a girl that's out of your financial league? You don't ever no, want to do that. Exactly. But when most people say, oh, she's out of my league, they usually mean physically. Right, right. When you say shit out of my leg, you're not talking about physically. You're talking about financially. Well, yeah, because I mean, look, okay, look, from my understanding, right? It, nowadays, right, for for a lot of these girls, when, I mean, look, we did we did a, a podcast at the beginning, right, right back in May, I think, mm-hmm. about should you pay for the first yeah. date or not? I'm like, yeah, you shouldn't, blah, blah, whatever. Right? And the reality is though that, like, for you to get that second date or the oh, you, right, have, the, to. you have to, you have you have to, you have to, because you already looked at it as like, oh, well, hold up, you can't, you get me? Yeah, that. and that and so. You know, if you know a girl, right, is surrounded by, like, imagine this, right? You see a girl that you can get with, right? Mm-hmm. But all her exes have been, like, NFL players, <laughs> NBA players, entertainers. But you just happen to be in L.A. and, you know, you met a girl. Let's just, just hypothetical. First of all, if yeah. you tell me, like, if you tell me you, you dated an NBA player at, like, 6'4", you're broken. <laughs> I'm not getting with you. There's no way. you you broken. No, well, first of all, you won't even talk about exes. Period. Yeah. You won't. But I'm just saying though. Let, let's say this is like your third date, and then you know, like she, it just casually got brought up or yeah. something like that. Yo, you know, I dated, you know, uh, a few NFL players. A few, tell, let me be honest, because the male ego is very, very fragile. Uh-huh. How hurt would you be, or how like insecure would you instantly turn into? <laughs> yeah, first of like, all, like bro, you gonna be like, like oh, first of all, I'm gonna hit with that. Oh man, that's cool. That's, that, that's awesome. The next day, she's gonna try to hit you up like, hey, you know, I had a great time. You ain't replying. Yeah, you probably won't want you to reply. Probably, yeah. Well, you know, th- th- so this is what I'm trying to get at. Okay. I get that that this is a male ego thing and not a girl thing, yeah. right? And so it's hard for us to kind of be like, nah, man, that girl, you know, is real, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to decipher that because but, you're, I guess, used to, or like. You because know, you, you, in your mind, you expect it to be reasonable. So, like, you're like, oh, Obviously, she wouldn't want to go lower. She mm-hmm. already has a certain standard, right? Right, right. Of financial stability or whatever. Right. So in your mind, you're thinking, I can't offer her that, so I don't have a chance. But in her mind, she's saying, but I'm not like that type of girl. I'm different, right? Because that's how your girl says. Right. But the reality is, you might be different in your heart, but in your taste, you're not. If you get used to a certain taste, and somebody else comes around and can't provide that taste, you might be, eh, you know? You know, this is a question I have for the girls. If y'all can ask this for me. So... I've asked this to a couple girls. Every single girl I've asked so far has said yes, right? Now, let me ask you all this. If you make this much money, right? And the guy that you're currently dating doesn't make this much money, but makes lower than you, are you still considering that person to date? I would, I would, I would ask because the answer might be yes. If like you make a million dollars and he makes like half a million dollars, okay. Time. But that's exactly what you're saying. <laughs> nah, because that's like he's like, yo, really, dude? Yeah, but yeah, now, yeah. like, if you make like fifty k and he makes twenty k, I guarantee you, like, no way, yeah, that's no way. Hell, no. But like, if you're both making big money, but like, like you guys right, don't right. really care anymore, right? You know? Right. Because right, like, once you hit like a certain financial, like, you're look, both rich. Like, let's be honest. But, this I've always seen girls. I've always seen girls as they they either want you to be at their level or, or higher, better. Yeah, right. Sure, always sure. F- financially, that is right. Um, because of, for, for whatever the, the reason might be. So this is why I feel like guys are always going to constantly be like, oh, girls are gold diggers. Uh, to, to some extent. You hear me? To some extent. Because, but now, you know, that question just came to mind. Like, oh, but so you're a gold digger because I just want you to be doing well in life or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that question lingers. So it's like, eh, that's that's like, like I, how do I you... Think, I think, like, if you, if you see somebody who, who's famous now, and it has a relationship, like a, like a real, real good relation. For the most part, either they're both really successful or they both started before they were successful. Right. There's not like, oh, you know, we were in the middle, I was successful, he wasn't yet. It's yeah, kind of yeah, hard yeah. to find those examples. Yeah. Either you both are really successful, right? AKA, you know, like a Tom Brady and a Jill Bunchen. You guys are super ever successful and you guys get together. Or someone like Chance and his girl were together before he got successful. Right, right. Then, you know, that's usually like the yeah, two yeah, yeah, more, yeah. more like obvious scenarios. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard like, oh, you know, I was successful, he wasn't. But, you know, we made like, it's kind of weird. Like, yeah, yeah, it doesn't guess, work as much. I mean, I, I guess, okay, ultimately, this is what it comes down to. How do you girls feel about it? I want to I hear from the girls. I want to hear from the guys. How the guys, also, the perspective is, is it true, right? I so, say she a girl, so, Right, but like, th- this is another thing I hear too, right? That it's like, okay, 
he doesn't necessarily have to be better or at my level or better than me right now. Cause he might have a potential, plan or a potential. goal, you know. Okay. If that's the case, then I, then I might, you know. How do you? It, how real is that? Like again, coming back to saying it and living yeah. it. Yeah, I think there's a difference between because I think you know when you're talking to somebody, they don't want to seem pretentious or like you know full of themselves or whatever. So what what really is it when it comes? Yeah, back it's to like, it? like what is the statue of limitations? How long do they have before right, right. before they have to be successful? Right, exactly. <laughs> like, like, so three months, three years, you know, like exactly. So you know, it is a lot of like little things. I think I think you know it's always primitive, right? Like the man is supposed to be the provider, yeah. the protector. So like you know, where, where does that really yeah, influence? Yeah. You know, so should a guy take a shot if he makes less money than you? I, you know why I would say no? I wouldn't say no because of the girl. I say no because the guys, as, as guys, we're extremely insecure. Mm-hmm. So we would always have that in the back of our head. And so we would always have this ultimate fear that, you know, she's going to leave me because I'm not doing something. We don't fully commit. You know, like, I mean, you remember Crazy Rich Asians? Yeah. Like, she's like, oh, I, I, he was super rich. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, she was super rich. And he was like a hardworking oh, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh-huh. And he was like a hardworking military dude. She was like, I never care about the money, yeah. you know. But she felt like she had to act poor to make him feel good. Yeah. So I think the problem is not the girl. I think the problem is the insecurity within yeah. the man. So eventually he would be always be holding back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would cause fr- friction and problem within yeah, the relationship. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's always like the guy's ego, the yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I, I can agree with that. For this one time, I'll agree with that. You know, <laughs> I'll take I'll take the L for this one as, as for guys. <laughs> You know, you're not protecting the guys like crazy. I take the L for that one because sometimes that's true. Um, that it, I just something about that male ego that really is. It kicks like, in. It kicks yeah, in. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. fuck. You it's know, like, like, you know, like we understand we're living in, in a more modern, more fresh thinking kind of way. But there's a part of you that you said you said yourself is primal. It's like the man is the hunter gatherer. Mm-hmm. The woman is is like sedentary home wife kind exactly. of mentality, right, right. right? And you don't get away from it no matter how much you try. Mm-hmm. It's so it's so true. So I mean, look, tell us what you guys think. Is it, you know, does a guy need to be making more money than you to be dating you, right? Um, in, in any tax bracket period, you know, like, I, I don't know the range I have here, you know, of, of people, but um, for girls, for guys, what are your thoughts on it? You know, yeah. do, does a guy have to be doing better than you? Like, does he have to have a nice car? Does he have to have his own place? Does he have to be making this amount of money? Like, what is it for you guys? What are the details? Let us know down mm-hmm. below. Um, I think we're gonna wrap this one up yeah, yeah. Pr- pretty quickly. Uh, just know that, yeah, I definitely am um, looking at y'all girls now. Uh, different. The tiles and, <laughs> you're and basic shit. now. Yeah, basic. Yeah, man. I'm kind of. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I'm you're disappointed. Deflated. I don't know if I'm deflated. Deflated. Hold on. Yeah, that's yeah, not. That's like, not wrong. Like, like right? your morale is deflated. Okay, like that's not like, like you're deflated. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hold on. Hold I don't know about that, bro. That's between you and your business. I don't know. Like, I don't know whether to be like offended by the fact that, or to be happy by the fact that you know you just. Or are you like, like are me. you like troubled because that exposed within you hypocrisy, but also kind of give you like hope, kind of give you hope that like now you can no. bag all those girls. Well, I'll tell you what it is. Well, no, well, no, I can't bag no, 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 My bag. question, but like, if your mind went up to like, I can get that girl now. Do you no longer want her? Ooh. Well, you know, I think in a way, yeah. I don't want to look again. Yo, I think I know myself. To a pretty good extent, that's exactly why I always say I don't want no relation. I don't want it because I know that a lot of times when I usually want a girl is because I think I can't okay. have her. It's like that, that kill, like going for the kill. Right, right, right. So it's like, oh, once I can get you, it, it's not necessarily mean. This is why I always say this is like, it, it depends, right? Like it doesn't mean that once I have you, like, okay, like bye, yeah. like, I don't care about you. But that's not necessarily the case. It could be the case, right? It can be like depending on your personality mm-hmm. and stuff overall. It can be the case. But it's not always, yeah, yeah. but in a way, yeah, like, it, it almost is like that. It's like, ah, like, like, I just, that, that, that's a problem, you know? Sometimes, like, you want something, you focus too much on that, on that thing. That and then it's just, like, eh. Yeah, it's like, like, like eh. you're not really, like, you just yeah, look really yeah, good, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But you wasn't really, like, I guess what yeah. I thought or whatever. And so, like, it, it kind of, like, you made it bigger than life in your head. Right, right. And then she didn't meet up to what you thought she was. Type thing. Yeah, I got you. Right. All right, look, man. We might hit this topic again if y'all comment down below. If y'all make this like a conversation that we can have again, we'll definitely bring it yeah, back so up. George always, we love that. It's all right, man. I want to smoke. I haven't had to smoke in a while. Yeah, anymore, right. you know what I'm saying? I've been... I've encouraging. Been You've been encouraging people. I've been good lately. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> encouraging people this shit? What the hell, <laughs> man? Look, man. Give me the smoke. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Till next time. Peace.